Hi, welcome to another position of the week. My name is Jaab Ugo. I'm one of the trainers of Kill Chess Training. If you want to improve your chess, if you want to have a good time doing so and spend it with nice people, you could check us out. Um, so the position I'm doing today is between Fabiano Kawana and Alirisa Firusha, number three and four in the world on the feed, on the feeder rating list if it was live right now. Uh, Firusha has uh, jumped up uh, quite a bit. Uh, this is played in the Grand Swiss in Riga. And we joined the game after uh, Black's uh, 36th move, King E2. So it's live in the sense of the game is still ongoing and I'm sitting here and, and, and following it. And uh, Kawan is currently thinking about his uh, 43rd move. By this position, he thought for, let me just check, I think it was 12 minutes. Uh, no, six minutes, 52 seconds. And uh, played the right move. And uh, it's quite interesting. I, I follow this on Chess24, which uh, I'm not sure technically it's the best uh, platform to follow games on, but it's uh, very nice for a, a visual uh, aficionado like myself. Um, so anyway, so at that website, when you go in and you check the computer evaluation, uh, actually uh, the evaluation here is 0, 0.00. But if you have a, a more powerful machine like I have, you turn on Stockfish, uh, the evaluation is 5.24 for white. So if you want to think for yourself, this is the time to pause the video and, and think for a little bit and see if you can find the win, just like uh, Fabiano Kawana did. Or you could just hang on and I'll show you what happened. Uh, so at this point, uh, Kawana played E6, uh, which is maybe not such a surprising move. Already we, white has to accept that the d-pawn is coming. Black played d3, and then comes f5. And the game continued now with uh, sort of innocuous looking moves. Uh, knight d4 was played, bishop took on b4. There were many options here for black, but nothing makes more sense than taking here. Then take, take, and then Rook c5 defending the pawn and rook e5. And this position is, is uh, as far as I can see, it's completely winning uh, for white. Uh, the pawns are too powerful. The knight isn't very strong. For example, if the knight goes here, we can play check. If the king goes here, it comes up and plays g4. If the king goes to e3, then this move is very important. And we now have a chance to play f6 and there's total control. Uh, so instead, uh, Firusha played king f3 and Kawana played a quiet move, uh, rook f, uh, king f2. And this is where they are live. So for example, if, uh, if knight c6, then the easiest move is rook e3 and the pawn can move forward afterwards. We should note here that White will win almost all rook endings, so returning the knight is not going to help black. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that uh, Kawana is going to win this game and it's going to be fairly uneventful from here on. But let's go back to where we started. So after e6, d3, f5, the move I was considering for black uh, was rook e8. Um, and I thought this makes perfect sense. You stop the pawns. And uh, next time you win the bishop. And why should this be so ba uh, bad for black? Um, the reality of it is uh, based on, on a, a little uh, idea that I think many people know. I know it as Oiva's rule. Um, maybe people, other people know it for uh, designating some other way. But the idea is basically that two pass pawns against a rook will need to be a combined four squares from the end. So for example, if we have the pawn on f6, that would make this into four. But we could also imagine that the pawn was an e7, and then this would be four squares from promotion of both pawns. When they reach that uh, connected pass pawns, then the rook uh, cannot stop them if he cannot immediately take one of them. 
then they will simply sail through. So for this reason, I thought here it doesn't look as if um, if white is winning. It wasn't obvious to me. Uh, my friend Jorgen uh, Petrick on, on Facebook said that he didn't see the win, but his cat did. And uh, Lucy, ah, Lucy's sleeping. I know now I woke up, but uh, our dog didn't see the win either. Uh, she was sleeping. Um, but Rook takes C6, and Pawn takes C6, and Bishop takes B4. The engine wants to play C5 or something. We play Bishop C3. It doesn't make any difference. This will happen anyway and take and take. And now the pawns are five combined squares from promotion. And if they move forward, a black will eliminate one of them. But there is a breakthrough. So uh, here, now, uh, if black doesn't take, then the pawns are, are saying through too quickly. The next moves will be G5, F6, and F7. And there is no uh, access on. Uh, on F6, although you could imagine some scenario where there was a lot of checks. No, you can't, just check it. So black would take, and then comes H5, and black's just too late by tempo, but it matters. And here, if, if rookie seven, um, we see this uh, over rule, in praxis, the, here the pawns are combined four squares from the end, they cannot be stopped. If king e4, then there's this lovely little move here, you must take, and then it's important we push the f pawn first, so the rook cannot return to the eighth rank. And then after the rook goes to f6, h7 comes, and one of the two pawns will become a queen, and white will win. I'm just looking at the game here for a second. Uh, Ferocious down to 11 minutes and thinking, thought for 32 minutes in his previous move, but it's not going to help him. Um, as I said at the moment, uh, this is the position that White is winning, and I predict resignation within the next five moves. So, anyway, I hope you're following the, the Grand Swiss in, in that pair. It's a very interesting event for anyone who likes uh, chess. And now there will be three leaders uh, going into the 10th round, round nine played today, which will be Kawana, Firusha, and David Howell. Um, so it's surprising to see David uh, doing so well, but I'm very pleased for him. Um, so all three uh, gentlemen are very, very nice people. I know them all. And uh, well, they will not all qualify for the candidates if I remember the rules correctly, but uh, I wish that they um, will at least uh, play some good chess and last for lunch. Thank you for your time.